What's up guys, Ryan Knows Tech here from techinform.us, our technology blog. Today's the 12th day of October 2011, and as promised, Apple did release iOS 5 today. They talked about it about a week ago, yesterday on Tuesday, the whatever that was, last week when they talked about the iPhone 4S and iOS 5. It is out today. There's been a lot of problems with it, uh, unfortunately, with Apple servers being pretty slow and not allowing users to upgrade. Uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about in this video is um, something that is probably very time sensitive. It may even be working right now as I make this video, but I can't check as I've already updated my iPad 2 over the past hour to iOS 5. However, if you are experiencing problems getting the .ipsw file, which is essentially the .exe or the .dmg or whatever you want to call it, the ISO if you're an old Windows nerd like me, uh, that's the file that actually houses the OS that you need to restore from. You can go into iTunes and instead of clicking restore, click option or shift on a PC, I think it is, but option, re option click restore is going to bring up a browse to window similar to that. And then you could go select that .ipsw and do it that way. Uh, so that should get around the fact that it may have problems. I think it's like a 3002 error or something. It's like trending on Twitter. It's pretty big. But uh, if you want to download that file uh, from here, it's OSX Daily. This is what I did. It works. It is safe. It is the actual file. Um, so they've got it for the 3GS, the 4. Um, what they're saying is the the, uh, the 4S here, the iPad, Wi-Fi, GSM, CDMA, and of course the iPod Touches and the Apple TV uh, second generation. All of those files are here. I'll leave this link down below. It's osxdaily.com. Anyways, back over to the site. It was released today. If it is working the way it's supposed to, then you should be able to get it on your iPod Touch third or fourth generation, as well as the new one, which I guess would be the fifth generation. The 3GS, the 4, and the 4S, as far as the iPhone is concerned, and uh, then the Apple TV 2, the original iPad, Wi-Fi and 3G, and the current iPad, Wi-Fi and 3G, both GSM and CDMA devices. Uh, the operating system brings a lot of improvements, Twitter integration, stuff like that. I'm not going to go over everything. There's 200 new features here. It's pretty insane. It's a really nice upgrade. We've got I, we've got um, messages. It's iMessage, but they call the application messages for the iPad now. It's pretty cool. If you're interested in it, Apple.com is going to be able to tell you more than I can. Moving on to the news a little bit, we've also seen the iCloud launch today, which is really cool. If you go to iCloud.com, it no longer says beta. There's a big update for Mac OS X. If you go over here, software update, I actually still need to reboot. It'll find that in a minute. But uh, I got about 500 megabytes worth of updates. iCloud for the OS security part uh, crap in there probably. I believe it's 10.7.2. So that's nice. I, I, as I said, I still need to reboot to apply those changes. But um, that has been released. iCloud's here. You get your mail. Um, you can switch over from mobile me and move all your stuff, although you do lose iDisk and the publishing from iWeb, unfortunately. So I'm going to stick with mobile me for as long as they'll let me, which I think is through uh, June next year. Uh, they also released the Friends application. It's called Find Friends. It's pretty cool. Um, it's locked down as you'd expect it to be. Every time you log in, you have to give it your password. That's probably because I don't have a passcode lock on my iPad right now. But uh, with uh, the with anybody else's approval, you can go in there and um, and let people know where you are. So obviously I'm not going to accept uh, friend invites from people that I don't know and, and even the people that I do know. I may uh, take the liberty of going in there and turning off um, the location services uh, so it won't actually tell people where I am. Don't see a reason to do that, but you can do it for your own security. Uh, so that's been released. Uh, that's with iOS 5 and all the stuff. Uh, I'm not going to dig into a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, speaking about the iPhone 4S, mine shipped very early this morning. It's, un it's all on local time from China. Mine shipped from China. They're still saying delivery by the end of the day on Friday the 14th, which is the day after tomorrow. I will try to get that uh, unboxing up for you on Friday with a review uh, probably halfway through next week or maybe early if I use it a lot over the weekend. Uh, Hell, yeah, I'm going to use it a lot over the weekend. So expect that Monday. Just thought I'd put this news out here. Let me know. Uh, did your iPhone ship today? I'm, I'm surprised how many people actually ordered one by reading the comments in uh, yesterday's uh, vlog or video, rather. Um, so that was pretty cool. Leave a comment if yours shipped. I'm sure that uh, if you ordered the first day, they probably all shipped today, uh, this morning from China, and they should be here uh on Friday. Interesting fact, I'm in northeastern Ohio from China. Uh, previous products that I have ordered have actually gone the other way around the world to Alaska from China, China to Alaska, and then in my case I think it came to Cleveland and then Akron and then found me about halfway in between uh, here in Ohio. So uh, interesting that they go that way. If you live in California, it'll probably do the same thing, but uh, who knows? Who knows? They probably have a crap ton of 
of different resources getting those devices over here from their manufacturing plant in China this time. So uh, there's some insight. Uh, again, leave those comments, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow on Thursday, most likely with some more news. I have some application reviews I need to do. I know the, the whole MacBook Pro review that I, I have been putting off because it's too much work, and quite frankly, I've been spending too much time outside. But uh, I'm rambling, so thank you for watching uh, today's video. Be sure to check out our website. Colt got a great post up here, techinform.us. My Twitter is twitter.com slash Schultz. You guys have a great night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.